you're new to my channel I am Michelle this is the 360 gal channel uh, originally started with 360 video we have since expanded beyond 360 so and we are in the middle of a build out when the pandemic hit everything shut down it was kind of boring out in the desert no offense towards anyone I always wanted to do another rig originally I started in a 1980 Chevy school bus with a roof raise. Now we're starting in a 1999 E450 ambulance with a roof raise and a bed platform. And if you want to see more of this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Anyhow, today we're going to try to get the insulation on and the walls up. I did find out something in the last couple videos. I did some welding on the roof for the roof solar array and I was able to leave all the insulation in here. It all weathered very well. It's a uh, rock wool insulation. It's supposed to be flame proof, uh, uh, fire retardant. It's a uh, mineral wool, not um, kind of like fiberglass, but it melts at a much higher temperature. I've actually used it in kilns before to make uh, furnaces there. It doesn't have any of the dangerous stuff in it, but you still want to wear a respirator equipment when dealing with it or uh, shaking it up too much, just because you should. But I don't have any of that other horrible stuff you're doing. Anyhow, right now I have uh, rock wool in between the frames, and I'm going to put rigid foam, two inch inch rigid foam, on the outside of the frame because this whole rig is aluminum. It uh, transfers heat, heat quite readily, meaning it changes at the outside temperature very fast. And if I don't have anything in between it, it's going to create a massive thermal bridge, which means heat moves very fast across it versus insulation which it doesn't move across it very fast so this is my solution for one when you're out traveling you spend as much as you don't want to you spend a lot of time in um, parking lots where there's idling engines diesels and other things that doesn't make it that fun or peaceful to sleep and my solution for that was the rock wool it's supposed to be sound deadening and it really does seem to help it and then the other solution was to have it sealed really good. So the windows I got in here are double pane low E um, windows. I wish I had more. However, when I finally got around to building this, the uh, supply chain issue happened and prices got really high. So I have three windows. I have tried to leave most of the doors in place, like the back doors and the one door. The ambulance boxes, some of them are being used. Some of them were nixed. Some were adjusted. And that's kind of where we're at right now. We're actually in the process of to covering up the walls. And that piece, I tried to flame it out. I think it'll fit up there fine now. The supports, the, the way the ambulance are designed, they're designed to do a full rollover and maintain their shape, which is great. I have modified it to a point that I actually raised the roof 27 inches. And... So that's most of the living space we're living in. We have the floor raised up about 16 or 17 inches and all my tanks are inside in the floor with radiant heat underneath it to keep it from freezing. That is another story for another time. We'll go through a tour and I'll tell you about everything when it's all working perfect. It's not working perfect right now, but it does put heat in here whenever I need heat. And that. So anyhow, I got... I had to take a break yesterday. I was out flying around today. It was an expensive day yesterday. I mean, I can't believe how much everything's costing now. But I got me some new vent hose that fits this vent more appropriately. And we're going to shove this vent hole. Or not vent hole. <laughs> we're going to shove this vent line on that uh, vent right there. And that's for the weight or fresh tank. They'll go down underneath the floor. Part of the reason I did the raised floor was, for one, I get to keep all my tanks inside where they're safe from freezing, because I'm warm, they're warm, kind of thing. For two, um, we can run all my electrical and plumbing and make changes to it as I see fit whenever I want to. The electrical on this, normally you have a switch, you turn it on and you run the power to the switch, the switch runs up to the device. Uh, the electrical is going to be ran through a switch panel which means everything runs back to the panel. The control wires control the panel. The panel turns on the off switch. Um, it's that way for future use, uh, mainly because I want to 
make my rig smarter than what it is, but I need a dumb solution to make it work. And smart, I mean electronically smart, not stupid in general terms. But kind of like a smart switch. So, anyhow, enjoy the time lapse of me working. I'm just going to be recording why I get this work done. Uh, the last several videos have been like that, mainly because nice weather, it's December, nice weather doesn't stay around that long. I pushed it hard the first or end of November sometime, I stopped recording to this get it done. And that's kind of where I've been at, and I want to have this done by the end of the month. I don't know if that's going to happen, so I'm just, I will release these all towards the end of the month when I get done with a lot of this. So enjoy the time lapse. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new here, go check out the previous videos of this. Some of them are the 360, some of them aren't. All right, enjoy. Nothing left to hide, not even from myself. Like I should be, but I'm taking a break off. But it's warm enough today that I can get out of here and start doing something. So let's uh, get this going. We don't want that way, I want this. I'm gonna make it light up with the heating icon. Then you hear the pump come on. Soon, a little bit later, we'll hear the diesel hot water heater come on and get this space thermal mass warmed up. Although I don't have any of the other stuff. I need to actually, today is run my little bypass line in there so I can turn on the bypass, the electronic bypass for running heat to the floor. So I have it all on the subfloor and I think I got the outside loop fixed too. Because I had to rebuild that area. 
But anyhow, today's task is we're going to. I get you on the scratch side. I do. Yeah, let me readjust. We're going to try to. Well, we can't insulate that back wall until we're done back there. But we can insulate all this with rock wool. We got to hook that wire up, and run it down, and run it over here in some way or fashion. And then we insulate that. We got the foam. So we can foam this wall too. I'm using two one inch layers, so I'll have a total of two inch. Plus, while I'm over here messing with the foam, I'm going to go ahead and add some in the wall, some of this AC line in the walls, because I know I need electricity there and I know I need electricity there just because of the nature of everything. We also might go ahead and cover up these holes and insulate that and just use the bolt through on the bolts that we need to bolt through. Because there's uh, the frame members, we won't have foam on it yet, but. The frame members can go insulate in between it, which will help. And if we can get this foamed, this rock wooled and foamed up here, and get this middle section foamed and rock wooled, we can lay up the second roof on that and have that, that thermal space that we can pull the heat up. The wind blew just right and opened the door on me and freaked me out a little. <laughs> Anyhow, my goal for today, I mean, I do have something I need to right there in that welding spot. I need to drop a bypass through that, which I have the bypass boxes, and that's where technically my solar is going to come in. Now my solar lines are going to come in here, up here, probably back here because I have more protection. Now I'll drop them and run them over here to the power area. Plus I might, because I have protection up there right now, go ahead and run a DC jack up there so I can run time lapses on top of my rig and run an AC line up there so I can have power up there for whatever I need to power. I used it all the time on the bus and it was a good thing to have. While we're doing that, we are also going to see about insulating this with rock wool and foam and running the power lines in here too, which I need to jot down a little plan for all the power lines and I want to hook up my marker lights too because I can and they need to be done and yeah we'll just slowly move forward on it maybe today what I'd like to do is get the radiant floor ran through up here through this little jack of line here and run it through the floor up there because it's kind of its own little peninsula hanging out in the cool air and it's a bedroom, and yes, I'll have foam underneath me because I'll have a foam bed, but it'd be nice to have the heat up there, and uh, this is a nice cozy spot, and I'm probably going to put the controller for the heater right here, next to my desk, and my computer, and my uh, smart stuff that tells me all my living stuff that I need to know. I'll turn on my heater that's currently running outside, you can hear it kind of running. It's really quiet, and it's going to warm it up in here quite, pretty fast. And then... Eventually we'll tie in some of this this return line on this. It's not putting a good enough heat into this thing So I'm gonna like zip line it or tie it to the frame Maybe itself to help pull that heat into the floor and give me a longer run time on it Which causes less wear on it lets it run longer and warms it up in here better Okay All right, let's get going All the same, just different. No arms watching us. Step inside, or we isolate a little from the world outside. It goes on, no, oh, it goes on. That you get to me grow strong. It goes on, oh, it goes on. Ways that you're new to me grow strong. Some days we can stop the dark. Look 
looking for the lives we're changing now. It goes on, oh, it goes on. Ways that you get to me grow strong. It goes on. You're new to me